Here we have an ECU from uh, Volkswagen. This is a MAD 17.5.5 and uh, this unit can communicate on the car with a diagnostic unit or uh, with the other units from the car. So it is most likely burn or broken. I already see that when I power the, the unit on bench, uh, I have one amp being drawn so this is like four times higher than it usually this unit consumption is this most likely is caused by a broken component or a short on the on the board and I saw when I power the power supply this this chip is getting hot i don't know if uh, this chip is i don't know if this chip is broken i want to make some measurements before i want to test those diodes here and here and the capacitors this chip is from Bosch 30651 I don't have this chip in stock and uh, if the chip is broken I have to order it and then retest replace it and then retest So let's go ahead to make some measurements. This diode is not shorted. So let's test the voltage drop. I have 0 0.4 voltage drop. It seems okay. Same here, 0 0.4. Let's test those. Oh, okay, let's test again. No, it seems okay. 0 0.4 voltage drop. 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Okay. On this issue, somebody worked before. Look at that. Isolation, they they pour on the board. It's a little bit too much, but what can you do? And I think this is from the windshield. This is the paste. Yeah, this is a silicone used for windshield. Isolator. Zero point three, zero point four. I don't trust I don't trust this diode. I thought I was uh, I was wrong, but 
I keep I keep measure it and every time I get I, I, I get uh, different measurements 0 0.3 0 0.36 here 0 0.31 I don't know what's wrong with it. Let's test from the ground. So here we have, oh, here we have a short circuit. Here we have a short circuit, 0 0.009. And here, 0 0.4 voltage drop. Yes, it is a short circuit. I don't know it, it is caused if uh, it is caused by this diode or this chip. You can see here some burn flux from under the chip. That's because uh, this chip is getting hot when the power supply is on. Okay, let's test some uh, capacitors. Good. This is good. This is good. This is shorted. Okay. This is shorted. I don't know. This is shorted. Why? Why? Why this short out? I don't know why. Both ends are connected to the chip. Let's zoom in a, a little bit. I want to see is if uh, this capacitor is discolored or maybe broken, I don't know. It seems okay. I think I'm gonna desolder that chip and then I'm gonna measure again this capacitor and this diode. And it, if everything reads okay, I'm gonna replace the chip. I'm gonna order it and replace it and then should be fine at least this part of the board to dissolder that chip to, to easy dissolder um, we have two options one one option is to to apply the preheating station to put this board on a preheating station but then i'm not I'm not gonna be able to to film it with the microscope because it's gonna be higher. This board is gonna be higher, or we gonna we or we can use low melt solder to lower the melting temperature. But first, let's put some raisin with the atomizer pen and power the board one to see where the heat is coming from okay this time worked i don't know what happened i just clean it Okay, it's all covered with flux powder. So I'm gonna. I want to see every component, especially this capacitor. 
this diode and the chip to see where the heat is coming from first and I'm gonna hit the power supply now okay you can see the powder melt on this chip not on here on this capacitor and not on this diode so the chip is the problem the chip is the problem I didn't measure this capacitor but let's do it now good This diode is good. Okay. Let me find a way to put the preheating station and adjust the microscope to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna be back. Okay, I'm preheating the board. I want to, to preheat it to 250 Celsius degrees. Okay, the temperature is reached 250 degrees and with the hot air station I should be able to remove this, this chip This chip is hard to remove usually because it's uh, it's a thick board and uh, it has a heat sink. You can see the solder in the in the heat sink is already melted. <coughs> and it's uh, it's thick to the board. With the, with the thermal paste also and I have to lift it ok, it's out Without the preheating station, it is very hard to remove it. 
now I, I want to add some flux to remove the bridges and then to measure the components see I'm using a small tip on my soldering iron and I can easily drag the solder from those pins without the help of the preheating station it's almost impossible to, to work with this little tip Okay, I have to clean the board a bit to see better. I can turn off the preheating station now. With the board hot, we can get uh, wrong readings, values. So it's better to cool down and measure again. Okay, the board is cold. What value do I have here? 0 0.4 voltage drop. 0 0.4. And to measure from the ground. Yes, perfect. No short circuit. We don't have a short circuit anymore here. And I I have to to take off to dissolve this capacitor to take it out of the circuit and remeasure it. gonna leave it soldered by just one terminal and I'm gonna measure from here to here or from here to here This capacitor is good. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to order that chip.
that chip is responsible for the fuel injection It's a vulnerable chip that fails many times on this type of ECU but I don't carry every every number chip for this ECU so I have to order it maybe from China, I don't know, I'm gonna search for it so that's it for this video I'm gonna order that chip and uh, I don't know if I can uh, make uh, another video or a part 2 video for this unit but uh, we'll see we'll see I'm gonna go work on something else now